In this video, we're going to discuss Construct's platform behavior, including some of the best practices in terms of implementing a reliable, glitch-free platformer. Construct's platform behavior allows you to give an object a robust jump and run style movement found in countless games. Assigning an object the platform behavior automatically gives you the ability to control it with the arrows of your keyboard using what are referred to as default controls. Any object given the platform behavior will interact with other objects in a special way. Anything assigned the platform behavior will walk atop and not be able to go through objects assigned the solid behavior. If colliding with any object given the jump through behavior, then the platform object will additionally be able to jump through it. See the difference? You can learn a lot more about platform's default configuration by reviewing the properties bar. Maybe you don't like the out of the box settings. No biggie, change them here or in your code to customize. You can do some pretty crazy stuff. You may have noticed that I'm rocking a simple polygon as my character. Well, this is in fact the best practice for creating a glitch-free platformer. This is largely due to the predictable nature of how a square object like this behaves during collisions. Your platform object is going to be colliding with other objects constantly. Even the act of walking atop something is a collision of sorts. So having a nice square collision polygon or hitbox makes for the smoothest gameplay. You may be asking yourself, but what if I don't want some basic box to be my player? No worries. The best practice is to have another character object which defines the look of your player, including its animations. And then you programmatically pin the character object to the player. Hide the basic polygon and voila, a buttery smooth platformer. The folks at Construct implemented the bulk of platform functionality with the expectation that you will need to do a little bit of coding to get the exact game you want. For example, you have the ability to mirror your platform object using Construct's event system. This is an awesome feature, which saves you having to create additional graphics, animations, etc. I highly recommend digging into Construct's platform behavior reference. It addresses many of the topics I've touched upon here. This step is a must do for anyone embarking upon a project that will leverage the platform behavior in any meaningful way. 